Hi YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how I repaired my uh, John Deere seat that I had on my GT225 lawn tractor. Um, I don't have a picture of how the foam seat separated from the back here because my intention was not to make a video. But because of how well it came out, I decided to do one. So basically what happened was this whole seat here, this whole uh, foam and plastic here, whatever, uh, completely and cleanly separated from this uh, backing here, this black uh, backing. And you can kind of see an idea there of how that looks like in there, how, much, how it looked like when it completely separated. You know, I got one right here too, there. And so what I did was, um, I was worried about the foam that's inside the seat. So I was uh, worried about which adhesive to use. I had, uh, I think it was called the E6000. It's like a shoe goo, clear, very tacky, very strong, but I know it can eat through foam. So I didn't want to use that. So, and I didn't want to go to the store and find a foam safe glue because I had so much stuff. So I decided to use uh, wood glue, the Tight Bond 3 Ultimate. It's a uh, waterproof, waterproof glue. And I, mean, I don't leave my tractor out, I have a shed, but either way. So what I did was, I laid it down like this, and I completely, and because of the, the glue flows very easily, I filled the whole channel up on this side, all the way around, like so, and in here. And then what I did was, you can see here, I used clamps. And if you have the ratcheting clamps, those work way better. And, uh, and the more, the merrier. And you can see here where I did clamp it down. Now these were a lot more dented in. Um, I did this, uh, I, I fixed the, the seat and I clamped it down and I uh, let it sit overnight. And my intention was to let go of the uh, clamps in the morning, but I forgot I did the, the repair. So it took three days before I unclamped them. Uh, but you could, these were way more dented in and because it's a little cold now, it, they are coming back. And uh, this one's almost completely gone here. But I, I think once it heats up and everything, this plastic will uh, go back into the shape. But as far as I think, I, I tried pulling up on this to get it to separate, it won't separate. So I believe it did it, uh, did the job. Um, the hardest part was getting the clamps on. You know, because you had to grab it here and they would slip and everything, but I had the, uh, uh, and that both they were kind of long too so uh, but yeah if you have the ratcheting clamps with the big pads that works best and as I think I probably had about uh, 12 or 15 clamps across this whole seat and uh, yeah I think it's gonna work out well here these here I just filled in with a clear it was a GE silicone 2 plus it's a uh, silicone that you use uh, if you replace a, uh, a kitchen sink or a bathroom sink or whatever, or maybe even the uh, backsplash, you just use it for waterproofing. I just filled in these little cracks here, and then these little holes here and there, all I did was just rub it in. You know, I didn't need much. And this here, I didn't bother gluing it. I don't know if it came glued or it didn't come, but either way, we left it just the way it is. It doesn't bother us. But yeah, I mean, this uh, replacing the seat's very expensive. And uh, because it wasn't in bad shape, and the only thing was that it just literally be completely cleanly separated from the backing here, the glue. Uh, other than that, that's it. Um, if you want to give it a try, it works. And I'm sure if you're in a warmer weather, you probably won't end up with these dents too long. They'll probably come out a lot faster. All right, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Thanks a lot, bye.